Good morning. I'm glad to be with you here in the fifth International Conference of Contemporary Appearance in Architecture and Urbanism. This research prepared by Fatma Mohammed, Dr. Islam al Ghanimi from University of Bahrain, and Dr. Wassam Mohammed from University of Imam Abdurrahman bin Faisal. The research is about the heat island effect of urban spaces, the case of the Perling Path in Bahrain. Actually, Bahrain is a small island. Due to its topography and location, the climate is hot most of the year. After discovering oil, Bahrain economy diversified from pearling and fishing to the oil production. This resulting in significant increase in the population and construction development and using new building materials. Urban development increases global warming. Therefore, the study contributes in sustainable development goals of 2030. So we need to have environmental studies about urban development. The Perling Path is a case study. In this research, it's located in Muharraq, Bahrain. This project developed by Becca, which is Bahrain Authority of, for Culture and Antiquities. The project include walkway with 3.5 kilometers. The walkway surrounded by all the traditional buildings, which represent Bahrain culture and the local historical buildings. So what is the issue? The issue here is the urban development results in many negative consequences. One such major consequences is creating of urban heat island in town and in cities. Therefore, in Muharraq, the Perling Path may have results in having the urban heat island the spaces which we have it here in, in the Perling Path with a small open area occupied by car parking. Also the project with narrow alleys, with narrow alleys and the project uh, have small space, like a, a, a little uh, open spaces. Nowadays, back uh, they plant some vegetation Therefore, we would like to study and know and understand if the UHI is affecting this area. Then our aim here is to investigate about the UHI and the Perling Path. From the literature reviews and the study had been done before, we noticed that possibility of for UHI mitigation in the old cities can be mitigated by several ways. One of them is urban fabric. It has a significant uh, rule, like when we having narrow alleys and streets, this can provide some shade. Uh, this is an example had been published in Saudi, Saudi Arabia, Mecca. And another example, we have it in Jeddah also, they have a, like a, in the old city, narrow streets, which provide shade, can reduce and mitigate the UHI effect. Another reason can mitigate the UHI is increasing the vegetation. In Malacca, Malaysia, there is a historical district which is already recorded in the UNESCO with the planting of vegetation in the streets and taking into the consideration the pedestrian visibility for the historical structure. Uh, 
they had increased the UHI in that area. Another study had been done in Bahrain. It's uh, on all parts of Manama. They recommend to increase the UHI, to increase the green envelope design for the building, like having green roof, green facade, Moreover, replace the use of asphalt for paving streets with alternative materials. Regarding Bahrain, we had some information about the air temperature at the beginning for the, as the first uh, step to know more and understand about the climate and the air temperature within the area. The nearest um, meteorological station we have near our project is Bahrain Airport, uh, which is located in Muharraq. Uh, we noticed that comparing the temperature with Bahrain International Circuit, which is represented here with the orange line, the Bahrain International Circuit located in the desert. That means we have two different urban uh, urban characteristic. Regarding Bahrain International Airport, in the noon time, the temperature were lower in the different uh, month in the season, in the noon time, while in the morning, early morning when the sunrise and before the, at night, before the sun uh, uh, rise, the temperature were higher. That's before, because of the urban development that it had been selected uh, within the month, which represents the average of this month temperature. Next step, we have the remote sensing. Mapping urban heat island using remote sensing data like image were obtained from the USGS Earth Explorer uh, for September 2020 and March 2021. The main result was allocating the UHI in the Perling path. Uh, the results demonstrate that there are spots showed the effect of the UHI near the path here of the Perling path, which represent with the black line. Uh, mainly it is because of the asphalt used in the road here we have the, const uh, uh, the constraint uh, or the patches for the UHI uh, increase because this year we have the interest of the soup. Also, we have it in the open spaces because it is unshaded open spaces along the path and used for the car parking. In March, the same uh, scenario happened, but the patch had been increased. Okay, then after that, uh, as a conclusion and the finding, we noticed that the issue that we have at urban development result in many negative sequences, and it really affects the uh, perling path. We have now an evidence that there is urban heat island in the perling path area. Therefore, we need to mitigate and have a, a strategy to reduce this urban heat island. Since this project, people will visit it and they will walk uh, outside, uh, even though Bahrain increase uh, and um, encourage the people to come and visit these historical buildings, even for the tourists. Therefore, the national uh, on the national level, uh, we can have uh, like a plan which uh, this plan can equilibrate between uh, urban and infrastructure development. They can address this uh, Bahrain National in the Bahrain National Strategy of 2030. Also, the ministries have uh, to collaborate and replace the asphalt with another material like a cool material and increase the green area. Uh, within the perling path using like a roof, a green, a green roof and take into consideration the pedestrian visibility for this historical buildings. Uh, 
and adding shading area. This is my references. And thank you very much.